I produced a video recently called God isn't humble and neither are his people and I've been thinking about that ever since I uploaded it specifically something that I said near the end of it where I, I just spent the whole video uh, criticizing Christianity for not being a humble faith and there's I, I used as a launching point my uh, picture of a church sign from a church near where I live that said God is humble are we and I spent the whole video pretty much arguing that Christianity is not a humble faith and Christians are not humble people and then right at the end right before I was about to sign off I, I said uh, something to the effect of now I'm not talking about all Christians I know a lot of Christians and most of the Christians I know are fine people and I've been thinking about that ever since I said it and ever ever, ever since I posted that video and it's bothered me and I talked to my wife about it because I have a wife now and uh, and she said some things too that, that got me to think that maybe I need to try a little harder to not do some of the things that I criticize others of doing uh, because that bit at the end the more I watch it the more it sounds like some of my best friends are Christian, you know, or now there's a few good ones. I'm always the first to say it, you know, it, 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 it doesn't sit well with me. Almost all of the really important people in my life are Christian in one form or another. And I'm talking about people like my mother who was raised in a very Christian household uh, whose father was a preacher, not a very good preacher. He's a, a wonderful example of uh, a terrible preacher, actually. Uh, but nonetheless, she was raised in a Christian home, and, and even though she hasn't regularly attended church for over 20 years, uh, she she still turns to that religion for her spiritual side most often, I think. Or people like my wife's parents, my, my in-laws, who are the most admirable and wonderful people you could ever hope to meet. Uh, both very devout Christians and uh, attend church twice a week, which I think is nuts. But Or, or people like uh, my new, relatively new friend uh, Rob and his wife Dee, who I work with at Neon Real Entertainment. Uh, Rob is a Christian guy and he works with his church, uh, does charity work with his church, actually uh, feeds and clothes homeless people, actually uses his church to do to spread some good out into the world, which is something that I wish more churches around here would do. Uh, I wish more people in general around here would do. So it, when I thought about those people and other people that I haven't mentioned, and I thought about what I said in that video. I just wanted to give them more than just, oh, I know a lot of Christians and they're nice people. I, I felt like I owed them more than that, even though I don't think any of them have even watched that other video. I don't think any of them, they, none of them have, have contacted me or said anything to me about it, but I wanted to make it clear to them and to any other Christian person who I know or who I don't know, who I may have belittled with that bit at the end I want to make it clear that I don't I don't see individuals as my enemy and I don't see Christian people as my enemy I can open it up beyond the the the, the religion issue too I mean I love talking about religion and uh, it's one of my favorite things to discuss but you know, even people in politics, and not just people that I personally know, but well-known media figures. I mean, it's not, it's not Glenn Beck that I have a real problem with. I mean, I do, when I, when I see Glenn Beck on TV or listen to him on the radio, he seems like an asshole to me. That's just how he comes off. That's how he presents himself. Uh, if I met Glenn Beck 
in person, if we were in the same room, if we hung out and watched a baseball game together, he may well be a great guy. I have no idea. He may actually be an asshole, too. I don't know. Uh, but he may actually be an affable, likable guy that we will be okay to spend an afternoon with. It's not Sean Hannity who I want to oppose. It's the things that Sean Hannity says. Like the other day when I happened to tune into his radio show and he listed among the uh, contributing factors to Jared Loeffner's uh, killing spree, not just that he was crazy and that he was a skull worshiper, as Hannity put it, but that he was an atheist. Uh, it's that kind of bile that I want to answer and I want to push against and I want to fight, not Hannity the person. The last example, I promise, uh, the, the, the new governor of Alabama, who I just read yesterday, mere minutes after being inaugurated as the governor, spoke to a church group and said that people who have not accepted Christ, who have not been filled with the Holy Spirit, are not his brothers and sisters. Um, I don't want to be that guy's enemy. I want to be the enemy of the ignorant idea that he holds and that he says to people. I want to. I don't want to walk up to him and punch him in the face. I don't want to hurt him personally. I want to. I want to say to him and anyone else who would think that that whether they like it or not, all of us are brothers and sisters, or more accurately, cousins. It doesn't matter what religion we are. We're all in this together. We're all human beings. And and deeper than that, we're all forms of life on this planet. We're all related. I am his brother. He is my brother. Literally, we have the same DNA running through our body. We're built of the same stuff. My friend Harold, uh, the Felt Be Gone on YouTube, just put up a, a really inspiring video uh, recently about his desire to speak out. And he was talking specifically on the side of, of atheism and standing up and speaking for himself and speaking for his lack of religion against others with their uh, strong advocacy of, of religion. And that's what I, and I, I want to do that too. He talked about adding his voice to the chorus. And I want my voice to be in the chorus and not to be a sour voice that drags down the rest of the chorus. Uh, I want to argue about ideas. I want to argue about logic and reason and evidence. Uh, I want to argue about scientific bases for our beliefs. I want to argue about uh, morality and philosophy. And I, I don't want to make enemies of people. I want to engage people. I want to have discussion with people. Some of the most fulfilling experiences I've had since I started my blog almost five years ago have been interacting with people who are diametrically opposed to me on whatever I'm talking about in a particular article or video, and engaging them in a friendly, respectful way, and feeling like at the end of the discussion that that person was a friend, even though we disagreed with each other, that maybe we had attempted to understand one another. And even more than persuading people, I think that's what I would like out of this whole experience is to be able to have discussion with people and to understand people who are coming from a different place philosophically than I am. And the way I ended the last video didn't strike me as, as the way to do it. So this is my attempt, egocentric and self-involved as it is, to make amends for that with myself and to say to the rest of you who are kind enough and patient enough to watch these things and to read what I write, uh, that I'm going to redouble my efforts to do better. So.